A and AS level mathematics. Lesson 19, indices, part 3. And we're going to be looking at solving equations with unknown powers. So let's have a go at solving this equation with these unknown powers. Now the first thing we have to spot is that 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 and 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4 so the whole equation can be written in 2 to the power of. So let's make a note of that. 2 equals 2 to the power 1 4 equals 2 to the power 2 8 equals 2 to the power 3 and 16 equals 2 to the power 4. So, let's rewrite this. Instead of 8, we're going to write 2 to the power 3 is then raised to the power of x plus 4 multiplied by 2. I'm going to write 2 to the power 1. Equals 16. So instead of 16, we're going to write 2 to the power 4 which is then raised to the power of 4 minus x. Now, using the third rule of indices, when we raise the power and raise the power again, we can write that as raise the power of these two indices multiplied together. In other words, 3 multiplied by x plus 4. So we've got 3 multiplied by x and 3 multiplied by the 4. Same thing applies on this side. 2 to the power of 4 is then raised to the power of 4 minus x. So we can write that as 2 raised to the power of and multiply these two indices together, which is 4 times the 4 and 4 times the minus x. Now, first rule of indices, when we multiply, we add the indices together. So this can be rewritten as 2 raised to the power of 3x plus 12 plus 1. In other words, 3x plus 13. Now, if we've got 2 raised to the power of and 2 raised to the power of, then these two powers must be the same. So we'll just write down that they're equal and have an equation to solve. Adding 4x to both sides, subtracting 13 from both sides, dividing both sides by 7, we have solved and found this unknown value is 3 sevenths. Let's have a look at this one. Again, spotting that the 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2, and the 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3. So instead of 4, I'm going to write 2 squared, 2 raised to the power 2, which is then raised to the power of 3x plus 5, multiplied by 2, let's write that as 2 to the power 1, equals 8, which is 2 raised to the power of 3, uh, 2 cubed if you prefer, which is then raised to the power of 5 minus x. Using the third rule of indices, we can appreciate that this can be written as 2 raised to the power of these two indices multiplied together. So let's multiply 2 by 3x plus 5, which will give us 6x plus 10. And same applies here. Let's rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of and multiply these two indices together. 3 multiplied by 5 minus x will give us 3 fives of 15 minus 3x. So 2 raised to the power of multiplied by 2 raised to the power of is 2 raised to the power of these indices added together. So if I add 6x plus 10 to 1, I'll get 6x plus 11. Now, we've got to a situation where they're both 2 raised to the power ofs. Therefore, these powers must be the same. So let's write them down as being equal, and then solve this little equation. Add 3x to both sides, subtract 11 from both sides, divide both sides by 9, and we have solved the equation, working out the value of x as being 4 ninths. So let's have a go at solving this equation. We need to spot that the 9 and the 27 can be written in 3 to the power of. In other words, 3 to the power 1 is 3, 3 to the power 2, or 3 squared is 9, and 3 to the power 3, 
3 cubed is 27. So we can rewrite this. Instead of 9, we can write 3 squared is then raised to the power of x plus 1 over, instead of 27, we can write 3 cubed is then raised to the power of 1 minus x, and that equals 3 to the power of 4x. So using the third rule of indices, raised to the power of, raised to the power of, could be written as raised to the power of these two powers multiplied together. So 2 multiplied by the x plus 1. And then on the bottom, same thing applies. I can rewrite this as 3 to the power of, and multiply these powers together. 3 times that, and 3 times that. Now if I multiply both sides by the bottom here, I can rewrite this. Multiply this side by that term and multiply this side by the same. Now we can rewrite this 3 raised to the power of multiplied by 3 raised to the power of using the first rule of indices. I add these together. And if I add these together I'll get 3 plus x. Now, if we've got 3 raised to the power of equals 3 raised to the power of, then these two powers must be the same. So I can write down 2x plus 1 equals 3 plus x. Let's subtract x from both sides. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. And we've worked out the value of the unknown, x, is 2.